Good morning, everyone. How are we? I just went to sneeze and then it went away before I could sneeze. And that's the most devastating thing because now it's like all here. It's ready to come out. So I'm not sick. I just needed to sneeze. So I figured that you needed that information before we get into this reaction because that's important, you know. Now, happy birthday to our beautiful Hyunjin. We are going to spend the first little section focusing on our beautiful Hyunjin doing his two skis records, which is, thank you for that, how spoiled. One is long for you. The other is hey you. Then we're going to do the vlog. Then, ah! then we're going to do Chungbin and this dude. It's like a podcast or something. Um... And then we're going to do Sungmin Phobia and the making of. So, yes, if you missed my post yesterday or if you missed my post on YouTube the other day, the way that my birthday reactions have been done is changing. So because I only do Stray Kids now once a week on YouTube, um, I still do them twice a week on Patreon. If you are new to my channel, there is two extra reactions a week for Stray Kids on Patreon every Monday and Wednesday. Um, but because I only do them once a week... It's a little bit too hard for me to be doing like extra birthday reactions and sometimes like like because I only have that one reaction for them on YouTube, I I want to just make a blend of like half of the focus will be whoever's birthday it is and the other half will be like any other content that I've wanted to do for Stray Kids. So it won't just be like the one dedicated video, which I did for like two years straight and loved doing that. Um, just it's just a little bit hard now, so yeah. We'll still do focused videos as well as anything else that I'm hoping to catch up on. So, you guys know, you guys know Hyunjin's songs are some of my favorite. Oh, I really wish I sneezed. I really wish I was able to sneeze because now oh, I don't even have any water. Y'all, hang on. Hang on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it's okay. I have my drink bottle. You guys, I can't do a reaction without a drink. You know that. You know that. Anyway, um, what was I saying? <laughs> Tianjin's songs are my favourite songs. I love his vibe. His vibe is very much my style. And I can't wait to hear what he does. So let's go. This is Long For You. <laughs> wow, the artwork though. So pretty. I did have the lyrics on. Oh gosh, the imagery. This is a tone I've not heard from him before. Wow.
guys. That is so incredibly made. The way who produced this, does it say? Composed by Hyunjin and Joha, arranged by Joha. Whoever Joha is, and obviously Hyunjin, Hyunjin uh, had a hand in this as well. But the arrangement in particular of this is just so expensive sounding. It's like, at first, it reminded me of, I know it was like a, just a piano right through that the whole thing. Let me just hear. Yeah, it was just kind of like the, that piano sound throughout the whole thing. And then just before it went into that like acapella part, I was like, it's kind of giving me like a wine bar, like a jazz wine bar kind of a thing. And then once that like guitar came in with the orchestral like string, I don't know if, I, I, guys, I don't know instruments very well. Like I know what I'm listening to, but I don't know the name of everything. It sounded like like that orchestra kind of vibe, that orchestral strings or whatever it is, um, just made it almost like, I was about to say a musical, but it, nothing like a musical, just like what you would hear in a movie, like like those kind of like, you know, The Holiday, do you guys know the, 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 the movie, The Holiday? I'm picturing like when they're together at Christmas time and it's snowing and they've all got like hot chocolate and they're around the fireplace and like that's kind of like the the, the music you would hear. This part to the end. Those notes. guitar I just didn't expect the electric guitar with those strings in the background oh. Okay, I'm just speaking about the arrangement right now. I'm not I'm not talking about Hyunjin. I'll get to that. The arrangement of this song is just for me it's so beautiful. Like that last part is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Now, let's backtrack. We've heard Hyunjin sing many times before, but I don't think and I always hesitate saying this because I don't remember a lot of things. <laughs> but I don't think we've ever heard him sing in this tone before. Like, it's quite high. We've heard the breathiness, but it's usually dropped down a little bit. I don't think I've heard him singing this high, but I'm not confident in that because m maybe... Because remember when I said that I'd never heard Felix sing like that? And then people were like, yes, we have. I'm like, where? We kind of did, I suppose, but not really like that. Anyway, this... I feel like it's very new. It's very soft. It's very uh, breathy. Um, it's very intimate. Like it, it seems like he's so close to the microphone. I love the way his vocals were produced. I think it sounds gorgeous. Oh, that was absolutely spectacular. And I don't expect anything less from Hyunjin because he is so expensive feeling. Like when I say expensive, I hope you guys know what I mean by that. Like I'm not literally talking about money. I'm just saying like he feels expensive. Like everything he does just feels like so top tier and just so like even though that song wasn't so much like I was gonna say because I was gonna say it's very artsy it's not artsy in the sense of it's super different and no one's ever done it before it's like not like in that sense just in the sense of like I feel like he just knows exactly what he wants he knows his own style and it's so uniquely him even if it's not like super unique does that make sense like it's very Hyunjin and very much in his little pocket of things. And I love it. I love his solo work. Right, this is Hey You. There's no lyrics. I'm guessing it's probably going to be in English. Hey you, yes you. How did you make me fall in love with you? Hey you, 
Yes, you. Oh, I didn't. Earth. I didn't speak about the imagery before. Let me go back. The imagery. How can someone be so good at so many things? Like he is just such an artist in every aspect. Hey you, yes you. How did you make me fall in love with you? Hey you, yes you. called the xx it's it's giving me full-on xx the xx vibes and i love them to you with no other reason hey i'll just fall into you dive into your heart yeah no matter what i will give you my heart since you're living in the breeze that i breathe it's okay to sell me some pain love his solo songs what they're so chill they're so like bgm style music that like background music semi like um uh the word has slipped out of my head what's it called when you what's that that style called i don't remember but it's definitely giving me actually let me just search the xx genre what would you even call them alternative indie it is very alternative indie i guess he does have an indie vibe doesn't he in his kind of songs it is very like indie pop um oh i hate that i'm missing that i can't i hate that i can't remember the the sound that i'm kind of thinking of it's not it's kind of irrelevant i guess but all of the instruments throughout this instrumental, all of the uh, the uses of each part of the instrumental were just really cool with that like almost like telephone, old telephone sound over the top of one of them um, with the random guitar and then all of those like, I don't know what that was, but that was really cool. I don't, I don't know if it was a use of a piano type thing with like a, like a keyboard or if it was actual like, those things that you go do, 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 the things I don't know I think I should probably go study a little bit of music before I uh, react to music reactions and try to give my um my thoughts on the sound but <laughs> I hope you guys understand and please educate me if you know what I'm talking about um it sounded beautiful and I, I just I just love everything about Hyunjin's style like honestly I said it already in long for you um, I've said it in every single solo song that Hyunjin's ever done. Like, it's just really, really 
well done and very slightly artistic and slightly unique. Um, he sounds amazing. And it's quite surprising that surprising that in most of his uh, solo work he's singing, which is kind of cool because he obviously doesn't sing a lot in their group music. So, yeah, his vocals are just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Where's the credits on this one? So who is Joha? I've never heard of Joha before. I don't think. I don't know. I don't I don't think I've seen them on their credits very often. But maybe I'm wrong. Again, I don't know. Really, really well done, Tianjin. Really, really well done. Alright, let's watch his holiday vlog now. It's such a brood. God, he's so pretty. Oh my god. The crown, though. Yes. It is. It is. It is. 정신없이 자느라 찍었고 오늘 내일 열심히 찍어보도록 할게요. 자또 휴가 그 시즌이랑 겹쳐가지고 자 일찍 하루 일찍 왔어요. 내일 이슈인데 하루 일찍 와서 오늘 좀 이탈리아를 좀 경험해 보고자 일찍 와서 좀 자서 이제 런치도 먹고 그럴 계획이에요. 내일이 쇼인데 아, 쇼 이상이 너무 너무 마음에 들어서 너무 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 기대가 되고요. 또, 또 어떨지 또 궁금해요. 저번에 왔었을 때 프랑스 칸에서 했던 베르사체 쇼와 또 어떤 차별점이 있을지 또 너무 너무 기대가 돼서 굉장히 부푼 마음을 안고 밀라노에 왔습니다. 또 제가 이렇게 직접 밀라노 팬분들을 마주하는 건또 처음인 것 같은데 또 열성적으로 응원을 해주고 계신다고 들었어요. 그래서 또 너무 너무 감사합니다. 이탈리아어로 오케이 오케이 이거를 CC 이렇게 한다고 하더라고요. 그래서 또 입에 딱 달라붙더라고요. CC. 네, 아무튼 날씨가 그렇게 좋지는 않은데. 그래서 저는 뭐 흐린 날씨도 그렇게 나쁘지 않다고 생각하기 때문에 기대하겠습니다. 여기는 약간 좀 한적한 곳에 와서 자유를 누리고 있습니다. That would feel nice. And they want to have a long school, a very important church. Oh, uh, this and, one? Yes, exactly. So they started in 1396. 1396. 1396. Yes. And That's crazy. 여기가 400년 된, 아니 400년 동안 건설한 철치라고 합니다. 1300년대에 지어졌어요. What? Took 400 years? 난 철치라고. Oh, that's 1300년대에 지어졌대요. 1300년대. That's crazy. Piano is still Like over the tour, I'm going to go to the i i 200짜리네. 제가 ISO 400짜리는 처음 써보는데 또 어떻게 나올지 기대되고요. 제가 이번에 필카를 굉장히 
필카로 뭘 많이 찍어놔가지고 나 아직 이날 한 번도 안 해서 기도하면서 저는 밥 먹고 오겠습니다 제가 발사믹을 굉장히 좋아하는데 발사믹 소스 음. It's so cute. <laughs> Why does he do that? So good. Wow, salad, I got it. Main dish is here. Ta-da! Pasta and. 이게 뭐예요? 리조또예요? Why is it red? 트러플 리조또랑 생선이랑 감자칩이랑 뭐 등등. 데르사체에서 가지도 주문해 주셨어요. 먹겠습니다. 이게 좀 있다 있을 쇼 전에 이렇게 매장에 가서 Like he literally just looks like a massive celebrity, doesn't he? Like as soon as you'd see him walk into the store, you don't even need to know who he is. You just know he's famous. 이게 좀 있다 있을 쇼 전에 이렇게 매장에 방문을 해서 제가 원하는 것들 이렇게 셀렉할 수 있는 그런 시간을 갖게 됐는데. Oh, it's so cute. Wow, it's so cute. What? It's so cute. God, it's so beautiful. How's the jewelry? I love that. Like anything looks good on him. Anything. Honestly. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so Everything about him screams Versace. Hey, please, but I'm just not. Wild. Oh, 아니 나 이거 뭐 나. This is perfect time. Yeah, yeah. 나뭐할거 없나 이거. This is cool. The way he's just dancing around. Wait, is that what that was from? I saw, I think I saw photos of this, right? I saw photos of him on the balcony. I didn't know he was just trying on Versace clothes. Like he still has the tags and shit. Gosh. Look at him. Calm down, Hyunjin. 이치수에 맞게 때려주신다고 해서 아마 시계를 차고 목걸이도 이렇게 두 개에 이어야 하는 거예요. Oh, I love those necklaces. 아 오늘 또 이렇게 제가 베레다치 외장에 방문한다고 또 많은 밀라노 팬분들께서 와주셨는데 아 너무 너무 감사합니다. 이번 타지에서 이렇게 사랑받는 것도 너무 너무 좋아가지고. 오늘 이렇게 밖에 좀 날씨가 쌀쌀한데 와주신 우리 밀라노 스테이 여러분들 너무 감사합니다. 와. 내 메이드 인 에데이 just for him. Look at him. Oh God. Wait, I saw this and I thought it was the most awkward thing I have ever seen in my entire life. It was so awkward. <laughs> like, I did cringe. <laughs> <laughs>
싸이 해가지고 제가 <웃음> 영상이 어떻게 할지 모르겠는데 It looked awkward, not gonna lie, but it's you, so w a t <웃음> 재밌었어요. 너무 영광입니다. Grazie. Okay. Oh my Thank God, you know Anne Hathaway. <laughs> yes, this is this is no, no. excellent. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, that was okay. So cool. And do you know how good you look? She's holding his hand. He would be so good. <laughs> yes, this is this is no, no. excellent. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 너무 멋있어 가지고 너무 놀랬고요. 음악도 되게 락. I mean he does know how good he looks. Let's be real. But it's always nice to hear it coming from a huge western celebrity. Western because like I mean it doesn't matter if she's western or not. But do you know what I mean? Like it's just such a like it's just two completely different worlds. Like if it was like a huge Korean celebrity, it's like, you know, they're in they understand that world they understand k-pop they understand korean beauty they are korean so they know how they look but i feel like get that kind of compliment from someone who is just so far from the korean world is just nice to see i suppose He should have got up and started dancing, honestly. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, I did not want that to end. I love seeing that kind of stuff. Like, I just, I just love, first of all, his face is just so good to look at. So, you know, anything with his face in it, I'm going to love. But seeing him trying on clothes, I don't know why that was so satisfying to me. I'm like, yes, what else, King? What else? Try something else on. What other accessories are you going to do? Sometimes I'm jealous of guys because, like, I love... I love Korean guys style in particular and like I want to wear that but like I'm not I'm not I'm not an androgynous type of gal like I can't pull off that kind of stuff you know I'm, I'm very girly I'm either girly or just in sports clothes so you know as in my coaching th things like tights and a top but that's still girly because it's like tights and a top you know a crop top not a crop top but like anyway so irrelevant and so sometimes I just look at this and I'm like oh I want to wear that but like you've got to have that face and you got to have that body because he can put anything on and it will look good. It's not even just the clothes. But that was really great. And I love seeing the interactions with um, Anne Hathaway and Donna Teller, whatever her name is. That was cool. And I'm sorry if I was, uh, if I was, if I, if I said that he was awkward with her, but they were awkward. That video was awkward. Not going to lie. And you can't say it wasn't. Because it was. But it was still like the images of the bloody the images of the crown though. Just so cool. <laughs> like I, he he must just bring in so much for them for her to like custom make this crown for him. I don't know if it was just him that got it because the impact they have is just insane, honestly. All right, this is this guy that uh, Chung Bin did with, uh, the song with. Um, Chung Chung Station. I don't remember his name. Ah, oh, yeah, Chung Won. It's Chung Won. <laughs> Chung Won and Chung Bin Station. The guy who did that song. 짝사랑은 이미 끝났습니다. 오, 창완이 형. 아유, 애만이 아니야. We dream as 24 hours. 24시간 꿈을 향해 달려오는 10대들의 창창한 내일을 위한 고민 상담소. We dream 24 hours. 안녕하세요. 저는 김창원. 저는 스트레이키즈의 주대자 창빈입니다. 반갑습니다. 네, 이번에 저희가 선생님의 중이라는 곡을 10대들을 위한 응원곡으로 리메이크해서 뮤직비디오를 찍었잖아요. 
근데 그게 반응이 아주 폭발적이던데 소감이 어떠신가요? 어, 창빈이 더 유명하더라. <웃음> 아유, 뭘 유명합니까? 아닙니다. 더 유명해지도 <웃음> 열심히 하겠습니다. 자, 이 분위기를 몰아서 한번 가보겠습니다. 지금 우리 친구들이 보내준 사연들이 도착했는데요. 와, 저는 대한민국 10대들이 이렇게나 고민이 많다니 정말 놀랐어요. 음, 저도 뭐 라디오 많이 해봤는데 오늘 이상하게 좀 떨리네요. 뭐 불안해, 지금? 저요? 아니요, 불안하지 않습니다. 어, 나, 나 불안한데. 저도 살짝 불안합니다. <웃음> 자, 그래도 창빈 군과 함께 따뜻한 답변을 한번 드려보도록 하겠습니다. 그럼 첫 번째 사연은 제가 한번 골라보겠습니다. 김도현 님입니다. 저는 원주에서 밴드를 하는 김창환 선생님의 어. 찐팬인 와우 중2 남학생입니다. 어 진짜 중2예요? 네. 저희 어머니께서 세상에 음악 잘하는 사람들이 너무 많다라고 자주 말씀하시거든요. 근데 음악을 너무 하고 싶은데 미래에 대한 두려움을 어떻게 떨쳐내야 할지 조언을 구하고 싶어요. 근데 창환 쌤한테 하트를 두 개나 붙여주셨는데 저는... 아니 중이는 원래 하고 싶은 대로 하는 나이 아닌가요? 그냥 완전 글쎄 그렇죠 말린다고 되나? 아니 말린다고 되는 것도 아니고 진짜 누가 뭐라 해도 하고 싶은 대로 해야지 네 마켓을 것 같아요 제가 줄때 있게 저희처럼 그죠? 나는 좀 말리고 Sorry to pause But this is a bit deep But I've never dealt with this before I have a girl that I'm coaching whose mom messaged me this morning to say that she's been getting bullied at school and that Um, one of the bullies, who was a boy, told her to K-I-L-L -L herself. And she was just saying, like, just letting you know, apparently it's been going on all year. And um, that her mum only found out about it yesterday. And so she's saying, you know, because she's been like, this girl has been like one week, she's really happy. One week, she's really sad. And she's like, that's obviously been the reason for her mood swings and just to be sensitive. And I'm like, yep, yeah, no worries, blah, blah, blah. I've never experienced bullying. Well, I have. I have experienced bullying, but not to any extent like that. And so I'm like, I want to help her. And I don't know how. I don't know what the best... I mean, I don't think I should bring it up to her because, like, she didn't even tell her mum. Like, it's not something where I'm like, I want to talk to her about it. But, like, is there anyone out there who has experienced, like, hectic bullying at school? And if so, what... did you need from the people around you? Like, what did you hope people, what did you wish people would do for you? Because I'm trying to like, I, I don't know what a, a kid, she's only, she's in year eight. I don't know what she needs. Like, I don't know how to help her. And I want to make sure that her experience in the classes that I'm coaching is really, um, like a really safe, happy place for her and all of that. But it just got me thinking like, what, like if you have, have gone through that situation and maybe you haven't, what would have helped you at that time? If you have any advice, please drop it down below because I will be seeing her tonight. So I'll read the comments today and yeah, if you have any advice, that'd be good. <laughs> so sad. Kids are so mean. If you hear the kids, then they'll be able to get out of the way. Then you'll be able to get out of the way. It's so sad. But this is the most important thing. If you want to be an artist, you don't need to hear such a lot. 선생님 말을 어떻게 <웃음> 거역합니까? 예. 창빈 씨도 뭐 고분고분했다면 이렇게 뵙겠어요? 저는 그냥 너무, 무조건 거역이지. 전 무조건 반대로 흘러갈죠. 저 <웃음> 도연 학생도 어, 음악이란 미로에서 길을 잃어도 절대 두려워하지 마시고 꼭 창환 쌤의 말을 거역해 주세요. 네. <웃음> This is so cute. 자 이번에 또 다른 고민인데 김지원 양의 고민입니다. 2년 정도 짝사랑 중인 남자애가 있는데. 마음을 표현을 하면 친구 사이도 끊어질까 봐 무서워 표현을 못 하고 있어요. 이거 어떻게 하면 좋을까요? 와 정말 낭만입니다. 저희가 이거에 관한 주제로 노래를 쓴 적도 있는데 어. 좋아해서 미안해라는 아. 곡이에요. 제 경험담은 아닙니다. 네, 제 경험담은 아니고 상상해서 만든 곡인데 저라면은 그래도 시원하게 고백하고 후련하게 이렇게 질러버릴 것 같아요 고백을. 이런 행사에 이게 고민 사연으로 뽑혔다면요. 네. 안타깝지만. 짝사랑은 이미 끝났습니다. 아 무슨 말씀이세요, 쌤? 아니 이미 고백을 한 거나 다름이 없잖아요. 이제 답변만 기다려 보시면 됩니다. 뭐잘 되기를 바라겠지만 만에 하나 혹시라도 잘 되지 않는다면 이 사연을 뽑은 저를 원망하시면 됩니다. 주때 있게, 능력 있게 저도 고백 한번 당해보고 싶네요. 네, 다음 사연입니다. 최윤지님께서 보내주셨어요. 저는 
어렸을 때부터 체력이 많이 약하고 몸에 근육도 없고 화급해펴기는 하나도 못해요. 유유. 아이고 정말 유유네요. 하나도 못하다니. 아, 제가 어떻게 하면 운동을 잘할 수 있을까요? 장비님 전문에 어, 운동은 좀 한다 그러지 않았나? 오! 진짜 괜찮은 걸? <웃음> 네, 돌덩이입니다. 돌덩이. 야, 나 아유 왜 만드네? 아, 야. 초보요 초보 뭐 하나? 팔굽혀펴기를 시범을 한번 보여드리도록 할게요. 오케이, 어깨보다 살짝 더 넓게 잡고 힘들면 무릎을 대고 하셔도 되는데 저는 힘들지 않으니까. 아우. 자세 좋은데. He does. He does. 근데 이 친구한테 내꼭 해주고 싶은 말이 있어요. 네. 자기가 감당할 수 있는 거. 손가락만 까딱까딱 하면 은 네. 그만큼이라도 감사하게 생각하고 그 운동이라도 계속 해요. 아, 그렇죠. 그러다 보면 은 조금씩 조금씩 요만큼 움직이니까 요만큼 감사하구나. 천천히 자기의 역량에서 그걸 꾸준히 할수 있는 그리고 최대한 재밌게 할수 있는 방법을 터득하는 게 가장 좋은 것 같아요. 그리고 운동할 때 음악을 들으면 또 힘이 난다는 거. 아니, 중이 같은 거 운동할 때 네. 좋지 않나? 창창 콜라보야. 아니 내가 꺼내놓고도 내가 진비만. 그래서 제가 했습니다. <웃음> 선배님 진로를 고민하는 친구들을 대신해서 여기서 밸런스 게임 한번 가실까요? 밸런스 게임. 음아 이거 하면 뭐또 성격 나오는 거 아니야? 엠비디아 맞아요. 그런 자기의 좀 그게 그럼 제가 하나 둘셋 하면은 고르는 거예요. 제가 오. 일단은 보기를 제가 읽어드릴게요. Have you guys ever done that test? It's called um the what's it called? Enneagram. I don't know if it's pronounced en Enneagram or Enneagram. I don't know. The Enneagram test, personality test. If you have, what number are you? I am seven. I didn't know about this test until today, and I did it this morning and got a seven. So do it. E N N E A G R A M test, personality test. Let me know your number. 일 번. 내가 하고 싶은 일이지만 보상은 매우 적은데. 이 번. 내가 하고 싶지는 않지만 보상은 매우 많은. That's a hard one. 하나, 둘, 둘, 셋. 셋. 전이 번이요. 일 <웃음> 번인데. 일번 선택하신 이유가 though. 뭐예요? 나? 네. 로버트 프로스트의 시중에 가지 않은 길이라는 게 있거든. 여기 한짝 갔어 이쪽 길로. 아, 네네. 아까 지나. 지나온... I would do number two while I'm young, get as much money as I can, and then go to number one. 어, 길, 이 길이 생각이 난 거예요. 아, 저쪽 길로 갔으면 어떻게 됐을까? 네. 이 생각을 하잖아. 후회를 이럴... 하게 되고 미련 남게 되고. 그렇지. 네. 근데 그럴 필요 없다는 생각이에요. 오... 가던 길을 주대 있게 쭉 가는 거예요, 그냥. 음, 그쵸. 하고 싶은 일을 꾸준히 하다 보면 따라오는 성취감이 곧 자신에게 주는 최고의 보상 아닐까 생각합니다. It's not, it's not that easy, sadly. If you live in Australia or any, anywhere in the world, but I live in Australia, so this is my experience, you cannot live unless you get good money. It's too expensive. It's too expensive to live, guys. I live in a really small two-bedroom apartment. Small AF. $700 a week. That's for a tiny ass apartment. Like, it's just my car costs me one hundred and ten dollars per week, per week. My bills, bills per week are nearly a thousand dollars. Bills. How do you live? How do you how do you live if you're not making enough money? You know what I mean? Like you can't. I'm sorry. Everyone wants to do their dream job. Luckily for me, to be honest, I kind of am, but I'm doing three jobs. Each, only two, two out of the three jobs, I thoroughly enjoy. My passion, my love, my desire. One of them, I hate. <laughs> but it's only a little bit of time per week. But like, I have to do three things for me to be able to afford my life. So sadly, it's not that easy. I'll do one in the next one. Why? Why did you come back? I'm a little bit. 저는 주대 있게 살아야지라면 말하곤 하지만 막상 저는 귀도 얇고 결단력도 부족합니다. 주대 있는 사람이 되기 위해 어떤 노력을 하면 좋을까요? 저도 지민 학생과 똑같은 고민을 한 적이 있고 아직도 하고 있어요. 제가 사실 주대자로 유명해졌긴 하지만 사실 저도 남들 말에 진짜 흔들 때가 너무 많아요. 음식 하나도 제대로 주대 있게 결정도 잘 못하고요. 아, 네. <웃음> 야, 이것도 괜찮은 것 같고 저것도 전 그래서 많이 먹어버립니다 그냥. 먹성이 좋네. <웃음> 그래, 그런 거 걸까요? 
옛날에 제가 말했던 그 주태자 영상을 보는데 거기에 네가 해보고 네가 직접 판단해 남의 말에 휘둘리지 말고 음. 이 말에 정답이 있는 것 같습니다. 그러니까 주태는 내가 내 안에 세우는 골격 철근이다. 아. 이렇게 생각하면 뭐 거의 맞는 거 아니에요? 맞습니다. 이 바깥에 우람하고 어우 저 안에 철근도 괜찮아 보여요. 기립근이 또. <웃음> <웃음> 자 마지막 사연입니다. 장하은 친구 장하은 님. 저는 친구들과 잘 지내고 싶지만 가끔은 친구들과 어울리는 것이 힘들 때가 있습니다. 친구들이랑 취향이 맞지 않거나 친구들이 저를 이해해 주지 못하는 것 같을 때 그런 생각이 듭니다. 음. 창원님, 창빈님은 어렸을 때 이런 고민을 어떻게 해결하셨나요? 친구 관계가 진짜 어려운 것 같아요. 음. 쌤은 평소에 혼자 있을 때 친구들을 찾는 편이세요? 아니면 친구들이 쌤을 찾는 편이세요? 아, 그냥 난 혼자 있는 게 좋아. 아, 진짜요? <웃음> <웃음> 저희 스키즈 멤버들도 각자 정말 다르고 너무 다르거든요. 음. 근데 이게 뭐 매력이라고 할수 있고 개성이라고 할수 있는데 그럼 각각의 모습이 다채로우면서도 되게 조화를 이루기 때문에 우리 팬분들이 또 많은 사랑을 주시는 게 아닐까. 근데 이게 뭐 내가 맞고 네가 틀리다 할게 아닌 것 같아요. 맞습니다. 이게 세상 사람 모두 똑같이 취향도 똑같고 생각도 똑같으면 음. 그것처럼 재미없는 세상이 어디 있습니까? 그게 세상이고. 그렇죠. 그러면서 또 새로운 취향을 배워가고 뭐 그러다 보면 이제 세상이 즐거워지는 거 아니겠습니까? 와. However, I agree for sure. However, I think the person is more like, yes, we're all different and I have differences, but like within my friendship circle, it's like not really like you just don't fit in. And I feel that way a lot of the time with like the fact that I am really into like K-pop stuff, and none of my friends are. And any time I've tried to bring it up, they, they, they don't like part like they they understand, but they I can feel the low key judgment even though they're not judging, but they already have a judgment of K-pop, and so even though they're like yeah that's really cool like good for you, it's like the underlying tone of that is like it's kind of weird, like I still get that so. I'm at a point where I just don't even bring it up. Don't even bring it up. Like I just don't mention it at all. And anytime anyone brings it up, I actually get embarrassed about it. And it's I don't get embarrassed about K-pop. I get embarrassed about talking about it because I know there's an underlying judgment. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm like I don't want to talk about it because I don't need you to understand it. I don't want you to understand it. You have you less. Our friendship is great, and I'll just do this for me. You know what I mean? Like, but you don't have to get it. You don't have to talk to me about it. I have other friends to talk to about it. I have on my community. Do you know what I'm saying? But like, so I think it's it's such a hard one when like you have like a whole passion for something that you know your friends are just not gonna get. And for me, I just get to a point where I'm like, that's okay. They don't have to get that. They don't have to have that part of my life in in our friendship. Like we can just have our friendship, and I can have this in my own life, you know. So sometimes you just your friends just don't get it, and that's okay. 내 친구 좀 대줄 수 있어? 제가요? 응. 저는 지금 친구를 만족하고 있어요. We dream as 24 hours. 네 이렇게 마지막 사연이 끝났는데요. 선생님 어떠셨어요? 진짜 이 여러분이 이렇게 다양한 고민을 안고 살아가는지 몰랐습니다. 진짜 다양했습니다. 여러분의 인생은 진짜 여러분 것이니까 스스로를 믿고 즐겁게 또 열심히 꿈을 향해 나가시기 바랍니다. 고맙습니다. 하고 싶으면 해보고 직접 판단하고 남들 말에 휘둘리지 말고 주때 있게 한번 살아가 보자고요. 이게 원동하니까 좀 다르네. 어? <웃음> 네, 어? 맛있는 거 많이 먹고 <웃음> 주무시고 아, 이거 맞죠? 아, 너무 자연스럽습니다. 그리고 가장 중요하죠. 힘들 때 저희 노래 중이도 많이 듣고요. 그럼 저희는 여기서 인사드리고요. 24시간 꿈을 향해 달려가는 이 세상의 모든 10대들을 응원합니다. 모두의 우주를 리스펙! 안녕. We dream as 24 hours. 그러면 창환이 형. 그래, 어, 그렇지. 와. 어. <웃음> 와우. 장빈 동생. 어, oh, 귀엽 That was so cute. I love these two together. That was adorable. So is this like a, like a, just like a one-off thing? Or is there more? What's, what is this? 
I really loved that segment. That was really cool. All right. And I feel like if there's anyone that's going to give you advice, Changbin is the one for that because he is such a great advice giver. All right, Sungmin. You know, I have a huge obsession with putting on lip gloss or anything on my lips. As you've noticed, I'm sure, in every reaction, I do it. Obsession with lip stuff and drinking water. Two habits which are very harmful. One that's really good for your health and one that makes my lips feel good. So, you know. But I notice, I'm like, wow, calm down with the lip applications. But I can't stop myself. <sighs> All right. the qu I'm the queen in this life OST phobia. Let's go. Oh, I love the sound of it already. Turn it up a bit. Chan in the background and it's probably not them like I feel like I mean who knows when when you're creating an OST you can use someone else for like ad-libs or background vocals but maybe his the tone he's singing in I'm like like really I don't know why I keep hearing both of them in the background wow he sounds so good there's no pretty absolutely loved that there was a part of it there was a part of it that um sounded it reminded me of another song and i can't remember what song it reminds me of I'm just is it just me that can i'm just hearing things right is it just all him which part was it I promise you Yeah. There's 
I don't know what it reminds me of, but it reminds me of a song. And I, it gave me that nostalgic feeling. Wow, that's beautiful. All right, we're going to watch the making part. So have some. <laughs> um, I'm sure it will show me who, who... Okay, I'm sure it'll show me who produced it. No, I don't know if it's Penny or someone else. Yeah. Who's that? Yeah. Who's that? 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 <웃음> 와, 이번에 너무 군더더기 없이 좋았던 것 같아요. 넘어가도 될것 같아요. 네. 좋습니다, 좋습니다. <웃음> 어, 이번 것도 너무 좋았는데요. 들어볼게요. 네. 와, I promise you, man, to have a sum to kiss there. Yogi said, Yakan, Tata Uba is a man, have a sum to kiss there. Pan, I say, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love that. I, I promise you keep on with her. Oh, 이거 깔끔했는데요? 들어 음. 괜찮아요? 네. 네. 궁금한 거 있으세요 혹시? 아니. 괜찮아요? 아이고 승민 씨는 엄청 바쁘시고 그럴 텐데 이렇게 또 멜로디 어떻게 다 이렇게 외워왔어요? 하나도 안 빠짐없이. <웃음> 아 빠짐없이지. <웃음> 네. 너무 감사합니다. 네. 아니, 아니. 지금 저희는 막그 승민 씨의 에티튜드에 감탄하고 있었어요. 오. 예 가겠습니다. 네. I wonder. I wonder if it, it's like the actual company. Who produced this? Because I wonder if it's super awkward um, for him to be recording a song outside of like Chan or Chungbin or Han being in that, or like his usual team being in that seat. I, I don't know. I'm sure that like when you look at the credits, there's always like a couple of other people on their credits for Stray Kids, but it's usually Chan in that seat, right? Or Chungbin or someone. So I don't know how often they're getting directed by other people but and so i don't know if that person is one of the people that they're he's familiar with point being i wonder if it's like nerve-wracking and i wonder if that affects the way he records or makes it harder i, I don't know i wonder <laughs> Oh, 지금 약간 이제 목이 딱 풀린 느낌이 딱 들었어요. 그렇죠? 네. 부드럽게 나왔어요. 들어볼게요. 네. 드세요. 아, 사랑스러운데요. <웃음> <웃음> 주접 댓글을. <웃음> 그러면 넘어가도 될것 같은데요, 좀. 네. 아, 너무 좋았죠? 들어볼게요. 표현이 너무 예뻤던 것 같아요. 어때요? 좀 아쉬워요? 이거 최종 캡으로 더 주시면 한 번만 더 이거. 아, 너무 좋습니다. 
적도 없어는 적이 진짜 적수가 없을 정도로 잘했어요. 예. 적도 없어 좋았죠? 요, 네, 이게 좀 절제한 거긴 한데. 어, 네, 뭔가 약간 밀당남 같은 느낌이 있어. 미치겠다. 미치겠다가 나왔네. 네, 너무 좋습니다. 네, 아, 감사합니다. 아, 제 밀당남 듣고 지금 힘 빠져가지고. 알아도 조금 돌을 넘었다. 아니 아니 아니. 네. 아. <웃음> 망했다. 저에게 10초의 시간을 아 죄송합니다 <웃음> 죄송합니다 아니아니아니아 <웃음> 이거 멋있어 아까 들어올게요 네? 이것도 예쁜데요? 간결했네요 예, 아, 어, 간결했어요 약간 군더더기 하나 없었어요 네. 너무 좋죠? <웃음> 미치겠그 <웃음> <웃음> 중국 개그 <웃음> 죄송합니다. 넘어갈게요. <웃음> 근데 잠시만요. 아, 진짜 귀에 약간... 가끔 지쳐 쓰러져도 그럼 가끔 지쳐 쓰러져도 손끝에 달리는 우리 뭐 뒤에 있는 쉬우니까 쭉 가볼까요? 네. 네. 아, 앞에 안정적이었는데 도가 조금 아쉬웠다. 네. 도만 자르고 한번 킵하고 한번더 할게요. 네. 어, 이거 앞에 감성 너무 좋았어요. 마지막 하나만 더 살릴게요. 어 이거 메인급이다 들어볼게요. 네. 네. 뭐 이것도 이거 담백 해고 좋았고 음. 손끝에 내스고 가야 될것 같아요. 지금 넘, 넘, 넘어가셔도 괜, 괜찮으세요? 마음에 남으시면. 아 마음에 안 남죠? 아 남으신 것 같은데. 플러팅 어? <웃음> <웃음> 플러팅 <웃음> 뉘앙스로 그 말을 하니까 되게 얼굴이 빨개지잖아. <웃음> 그 다음 <웃음> 아 자꾸 이상한 분위기가 되지. 네, 손끝에 달린 널리에 가보겠습니다. 아, 잠시만요. <웃음> 여기 조금 더 조금 더. 음? 준비 준비 중이신 거예요? 아, 네, 가 가고 있습니다. 아, 기다리십니다. 그러면은 손끝에 거기 가볼게요. 네, 그 일, 일단은 대수호포비아까지 한번 일단 해보겠습니다. 아, 네, 좋아요. 오케이. 노 포비아만 한 번만 더 할게요. 네. 진짜 약간 개오바에서. 예. 다시 할게요. 어우 좋았다. 딱 좋았다. <웃음> 이제 처음 나오는 이제 체념한 듯한 데스노포비어 이거 한번 하고 갈게요. 네. 데스노포비아. 들어볼게요. There's no phobia. Oh, I'm so good. How do There's no phobia. There's no phobia. It sounds so good. If you want to keep it, keep it. If you want to keep it, keep it. Let's go. There's no phobia. There's no phobia. 이걸로 가시죠. 네. 예, 좋습니다. 약속해 그 날들을 널 찾기 위해서 나갔어.
그 다음에 길을 잃지 않도록 가 보겠습니다. I love that we're getting like the whole part, like all of it. 길을 잃지 않도록 날 이끌어주는 빛. 어, 두개 하려 했는데 이것만 될것 같은데 한번 들어봐 주세요. 네. 길을 잃지 않도록 날 이끌어주는 빛. 어떠세요? 뭔가 되게 절제력 있고 좀 섹시하면서도 좀 트렌디하면서도 클래식한 것 같아서 죄송합니다. 그 결국에 다가가는 데스티니 아프라미스 가볼게요. 네. 잠깐만잠깐만잠깐만잠깐만잠깐만잠깐만잠깐만잠깐만잠깐만잠깐만잠깐만잠깐만잠깐만잠깐만잠깐만잠깐만잠깐만잠깐만잠깐만잠깐만
에피소드 들어주세요. 감사합니다. That was the most epic recording because we literally got nearly all parts of the song from the start to the finish. I love how comfortable that producer made him. Um, I loved all the well-deserved compliments. I love that Sung Min said that he loved it and it was an enjoyable atmosphere because this is what they deserve. And he is just the most phenomenal singer. Like I'm always so blown away by his vocal ability. And I just love that other people are appreciating and seeing that too. And obviously people who are hearing his raw voice as they're creating the song are so impressed by him. So, I mean, again, so deserved and just really, really cool. And I'm so happy for him. That was a really fun reaction. I feel like I just got the best of everyone. Amazing Hyunjin songs. Um, a really cool uh, segment with Chung Bin and Chung... Chang Won. And yeah, just really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all next week. Um, if you do want to join my Patreon, this week we did... Let me check. What did we do? I did... Oh, that's right. I've been doing the um, news, all of their music core performances from debut up until now. So I finished off the music core performances. It was like I did it in three parts because it was like an hour and a half long. Um, and so yesterday we did the rest of the music core performances and then we did their um, Sorikon Top and Wolfgang performance at, I don't know what this was at, it was like some awards show. Um, and then we did um, Side Effects at the Chemistry thing, NBC 2019, and then Winter Falls and Thunderous Christmas version, the 2021 SBS Gao De John. I'd done that before, but we wanted to do a re revisit of it. So if you would like to watch that, you can join my Patreon down below. There's a seven, seven day free trial for those who have not joined before. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that. Bye.